seven signs that he or she has checked out of the relationship. Have you ever driven down a familiar road and you went around a curve and a person waving a red flag indicating that there's impending danger ahead and to slow down? Or some of you old schoolers, do you remember the television show Lost in Space? There was this robot when there is an intruder coming, he would say, Danger Will Robinson. Unexpected danger. An intruder that comes into your relationship because you may allow this particular person to come into your relationship. The silent negative action of someone that you thought that you were in a serious, committed, and covenant relationship with betrayed your trust. And something inside of you was speaking very loudly. Don't ignore those red flags. And here are the seven red flags. Number one, your discernment, a gift from God, will be screaming very loudly that the relationship is over. But more than likely, you're going to try to deny your discernment, even though it's right in your face. Number two, you ask the person, is everything okay? And that person going to lie and say something like, everything is good. But what he or she means is everything is good with me because I'm about to market branch on you and you're going to be left alone without warning. Number three, they start getting missing in action on a regular basis. You call and that person usually, usually responds to your call quicker, but now your call is going straight to voicemail and the person don't answer for hours and hours and I always come up with an excuse. Maybe say that you call me and send your number or you text the person and you notice that it's on read. That person have read your text message, but he or she is preparing to bounce or ghost you. Number four, your conversations and your physical intimacy start slowing down dramatically or it comes to a complete stop until he or she actually bounces or goes on you. Number five, your conversations will get less and less and that person may uh, surprise you unexpectedly with a conversation like, we need to talk. I need some time to myself. It's not you, it's me. That is a bald-faced lie. That person will already in the act of seeing someone else and now they lower the bomb on you. They gaslighting you. Or they will start some type of stupid argument to uh, leave the house to be with that person. Number six, he or she start living as a roommate with you. May even sleep in the same bed or go into another bedroom until he or she is about to really cut the relationship. And finally, the person will pull his or herself totally away from you. The mind goes, the emotion secondly, and finally the body goes, and the relationship is over. As it is written in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31, 6, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So my brothers and sisters, what I'm telling you now, if a man leave you, sister, a brother, if a woman leave you, always remember the Lord guarantees you that he will never leave or forsake you. Remember this, believe this, say la vie, and amen.